Hi, for most people, quitting sugar, and that includes all the processed sugars, is critical for weight loss. But for some people, it may not be enough straight away, or it may take longer than you think. And it's all to do with insulin, and a thing called insulin resistance. If you've been carrying a lot of weight for a long time, your body is very used to high levels of insulin and most likely high levels of glucose from all the carbohydrates you've been consuming. So you could stop all the carbohydrates, or most of them. You still want to keep eating lots of good vegetables, but all those processed sugars, all those junk sugars that turn up in all the junk foods, but you may find it a little hard to shift because you're going to have to transition across from that idea of glucose running as your fuel source into a fuel source that runs on a smaller amount of glucose and more of the fat that you're consuming or already have consumed and have laid down in your body. Now you mightn't like to think of it like that, but that's the truth. Basically, if you're carrying a lot of weight, you are carrying a lot of fuel. Now the good news about that is fuel can be burnt. And so by reducing down the amount of glucose that you have in your system as fuel, you will start utilizing more of that stored fuel, which is stored in the form of fat. And it's all possible, but it takes a little bit of time to transition. The good news is that once you start losing weight, you can lose weight fairly quickly, at least initially, and then it, it slows down. The reason it slows down is if somebody has say 100 pounds to lose and they lose 10 pounds in the first month, well there's 10% of their body mass, of their body fat. In the second month if they lose 10%, what's left is 90 pounds, so you would lose nine pounds. So you can see there's a diminishing return if you maintain the same weight loss. It rarely works like that because your body starts to change, it starts to gear up. There will be times when you stop, you know, we talk, we hear of plateaus. Plateaus are not a problem. They're simply a point of resetting your internal system. Because if you've been eating a lot of carbohydrate, a lot of junk oils, junk fats for a long time, and the reality is you probably have, then your body is going to go through a period of readjustment. Now, if you go to the roadmap to vibranthealth.com, you can get a free dietary program that can help you with that. But in addition, what I help people with is the harder part, the emotional part, because everybody with weight to lose has to deal with that emotional transition. Whether it's stress eating or so locked into eating for every occasion that it feels like you're changing your whole life. It doesn't matter, I can help you. It's what I do, it's what I enjoy doing, it's what I like to do. So if you would like that assistance, I can help you. So thank you, I'm Ian Newton. Just go along to roadmap to vibranthealth.com, get your free program and get started. Thank you.